Well, the Elvet has extended my life. And uh, without that, you know, I, I'd have been... You wouldn't be here tonight. No, no I wouldn't be here. Uh, six and a half years ago, I'd have probably been gone. I could feel myself go downhill every day. Uh, Uh, I, I knew it was really serious when the church members came by and they were bringing casseroles. I, I knew, I knew it was per, pretty, pretty bad then. Up to that point, life was pretty miserable. I could do very little. I was sick all the time, and uh, it was just no fun being alive. To walk out to the mailbox. Uh, take me all day just to do dishes. Um, it just, it just life had stopped. I think we didn't understand how sick he was uh, at the time. You know, we were we were trying to do things like get him out of the house. In fact, a couple of weeks before he was, uh, or a few days before he was hospitalized, uh, we had this plan around the Christmas holiday that we were all going to go to a movie together. And uh, we went to a movie and I, we just didn't understand, um, you know, just the walk from the parking lot into the movie theater. That, that I mean, I think we really almost lost you that night. I, mean, I had was... to stop like two or three times to rest and we didn't realize how weak and sick I was. Yeah. They gave me two options to go home on about 20 different uh, IV drips and have one to three months to live or go in and have uh, this surgery and have the LVAD put in and they told me that it would improve my life and I said no I'm not going to do it. But my family was so upset and I thought you know what I've done it twice before I can do it again so I promised my family that if I was accepted that I would do it so I did and I've never been sorry. After the, the LVAD surgery I woke up and I told Marilyn I said, I don't think I have more than two weeks to live. And she said, honey, the doctors told me after the surgery, you didn't have more than two days to live. With the LVAD, and mind you, it's, it's uh, little bit by little bit. And sometimes you go back a step or two, but you can feel the little increments that you do progress. And it's you know like a big old billboard sign. You wouldn't think that uh, they would be that pronounced, but you can feel it. As the d the days and the weeks went by, it you know got better and better and better, and and I just sent out a text to all my children and grandchildren and friends and said, "This is the first day of my new life. I am you know." so happy to be alive and so happy to be here. And To me, the, the LVAD was a priceless gift. I think just watching my kids grow up is something that I'm just so happy that I'm able to be here, you know, to take care of my kids. <laughs> I was so tired. I could hardly walk from room to room. <sighs> And I, I was told that I didn't have many more months. And because of this wonderful procedure, I've been given life back. And I appreciate it so much. And we have a party every year. We have a celebrate party life. every year and celebrate life. Why wait till you're dead to celebrate life? <laughs> well, since we've had the surgery, we've been able to celebrate our 50th wedding anniversary which five years ago wasn't gonna happen, we've been able to see one of our granddaughters graduate from high school and just enjoy life. To be culture-ridden was a hard change for me. And uh, to be able to get back on a bicycle, to be able to, to walk around the block, walk on a, a hiking trail, the biggest change is the feeling of being happy and not thinking about the negatives that I felt before. And so it's a bigger change for me than the physical part. And uh, I feel like I'm ready to take on heart disease again. 
this is my life and, and I'm enjoying it. I mean, I, uh, I can do everything that I've done before other than uh, they don't want me to lift real heavy things, but other than that, I'm, I mow the lawn, I do the garden, plant the flowers. It's just, I'm back to normal. The Elvad for us was a great experience. It was, you know, high stress, but it was a great experience. It was, the whole family got involved in making sure dad carried his bag everywhere with him and making sure, okay, dad, is that alarm going off? Can you, can you change your batteries now? You know, the whole family was into making sure dad's life was saved. New start, new lease on life saved my life. That's what the Elvad means, is uh, my lifestyle with family and increased quality activity. She's always been my best friend and the love of my life. We've been married for 63 years now. And if I have one regret, it's that I didn't marry her sooner. And, and that's been a joy. These, these seven years have been bonus years and we probably appreciated each other more during these seven years knowing that they, they could well not have been. Every once in a while, I'm asked to go down and they'll have a patient that is in the same situation I was when I first went in. And they look at me and they say, you know, he don't look like there's anything the matter with him. Well, there isn't any more because, you know, uh, I got a new lease on life and uh, I take it uh, one day at a time and it's great. You know, one thing I think that we have learned is that you appreciate life more. You make each day count and everything you're so grateful for all of your blessings that you receive through this and that you have another day. And I think it's improved us. <laughs> it has. It's made a big difference. I'm sure I would not have been here today without the LVAD. And this LVAD has, uh, has saved lives, not only mine, but I'm sure other people. It's, uh, it's great for me. It's, uh, it's, it's life-changing and it's going to be life-changing for other people too.